Today I'll be calling Cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in Cable price action. So, since the last video and I didn't get a chance to make one yesterday, uh, I think the movement has been corrective. And right here we're on a 108 minute chart. You can see the terminus of 1 and the terminus of 2 here. So here's 1 and here's 2 and then it moved up in a third wave and what I did was I connected one and three moved it to the bottom of two that trend line that trend line the uh, movement down here in four did not break that trend line so that means highest probability is when I move the trend line up to the terminus of four and then move that up to the terminus of three like so you can see that's parallel the movement up should not break this upper trend line which I've got right there no break now we're working what I think is the fifth wave and just recapping uh, wave three is shorter than wave one so therefore wave five should be shorter than wave three and I applied that same technique to this fifth wave I connected one and three moved it down to two and that did break the trend line okay so then what I did is I moved it down to the terminus of four and four may not be over yet um, this right here was a zigzag right this second wave and this is a flat I believe this was three waves down and this was three waves up and it did come up 90 percent of the drop all right and I believe this is a ending diagonal ending expanding diagonal so I think highest probability we're gonna see a move up that will break this upper this first trend line right here okay and not break this uh, larger trend line channel so it'll probably be something like this it'll be a more dramatic move up it'll break this trend line let's extend that right something like this right it'll break this trend line but stay under this larger channel trend line so I think uh, now might be a decent time to take a long trade uh, your stop would be the terminus of one right here okay because that that would mean that this is no longer an impulse it's either over or it's making a diagonal either way it means the count isn't correct and you should act accordingly but um, I think a trade in the long direction might not be a bad idea. To me, that seems like it would be about two to one. So I could recommend that. And I would say take your profit as it breaks this upper trend line. And I think that would be a pretty good trade. From there, that should likely end the fifth wave. And keep in mind that that would have to be shorter than this wave so this would all have to end below about 167 that's not an exact measurement you'll have to do an exact measurement yourself but you can see that that all works out right it'll break this one not break that one and still stay under hundred percent and I think that will end our a wave that's today's call I hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call